Oh, I got a flashlight on now. What the fuck? When did that happen? But yeah, I got like three different things going on. I got like YouTube on on my TV. I got <laughs> Twitch on this phone. Recording a video. So yeah. I ain't grabbing my remote, so you gotta listen to the beep. And the other people bitching. <laughs> So, anyways, fucking Batista is no longer in the Hall of Fame. Because <laughs> he told Trump to go fuck himself. <laughs> so, he's not in the Hall of Fame anymore. Uh, but he, he deserves the Hall of Fame, hands down. Just because he said fuck Trump. Vinny Mac took him out. Because that's Vinny Mac's best friend. Like, who cares? Somebody tells Trump to fuck themselves. So fucking be it. Whoop, whoopee, ding dong, do. That is Vinny Mac walking into a truck after all that. <laughs> but yeah. Like, how are you going to kick him out for basically saying fuck you? They, they need to put them back in right now. They need for 2021. Induct Shad Gaspar, hands down. Or give him the Warriors Award for his son, basically. Shad gave up his life to uh, save his son, so... Yeah, he, he deserves the Warriors Award. And on top of that, it, like, that, and Brody Lee passing away, they need a Brody Lee tribute at the Hall of Fame, too. Give them both a uh, tribute. Because either way you think about it, they were both uh, great pieces to the WWE. Yeah, they never got the highest career like, tag team, basically. But hey... I loved crime time growing up. I loved the Wyatt family, Bludgeon Brothers. Even though, even though, for some reason, they were hated beyond belief. I loved them. I mean, I liked Brody Lee better than... <sighs> I liked Brody Lee better than uh, Eric Rowan. But still... But still, that's neither here nor there. And Shad Gaspar, personally, I was hoping, like, instead of turning on JTG and having singles matches, it would have been cool to see Shad Gaspar and MVP be a team back then. Or even Shad Gaspar and Kofi Kingston. And let JTG be the one to be heel of the two. But WWE refused to pull those triggers and just uh, like let him have a couple matches and Shad got fired, but JTG was pretty much fucking used on main event or was the main event maybe what, what the hell was it yeah sorry about that beeping I don't know where my remote is and yeah but yeah a Saturday night main event I think it was no Thursday night Thursday superstars was it superstars it's superstars something I can't remember that like in that 
time from like 2010 and when I did several different shows and it's just like you know you, need, you needed the WWE Network just to watch it and it's like I wasn't going to pay the nine ninety nine a month just to watch shows and well pay for views yeah but I'd use my buddies and it's like yeah I can and then there was a time where it was just shit like really unwatchable I mean they have their ups and downs now but at least it's not fucking Roman Reigns 24-7 now like granted he's the universal champion right now but still they're past the Roman Reigns everything Uh, so yeah, that's my take. If I can give Shad gas bar. The uh, Hall of Fame. Give Brody Lee a tribute at least. Put Batista back into the Hall of Fame. Because, like, yeah. Fuck Trump. Oh, sorry, Vinny. I said, fuck Trump. You're not going to put me in the Hall of Fame? Fuck Trump. Ooh. Oh. Um, here, fuck Trump. Don't put me in the Hall of Fame. Fucking Trump. See? See? Nobody cares that I said that. Just to prove a point. Look at that Arizona tea, though. Fuck that Arizona tea. Fuck that water. My niece and nephew's uh, Legos. Fuck those Legos. Fuck that water. Fuck that water. Fuck that cup. Fuck that Arizona tea. Fuck Trump. Put Batista back. Alright, guys. Leave a like, comment, sub. Later.